Of course, Trump administration has said that the policy of, of, the, uh, um, of the Obama administration of strategic patience is over, and they have a new slogan, so their policy is maximum pressure and engagement. And we're now in the maximum pressure phase, so the Trump administration is trying to use uh, you know, military intimidation and threats of sanctions and working with China to discourage Kim Jong-un from carrying out additional missile and nuclear tests. Well, we'll see whether or not that's successful. It, it, uh, to some extent, I hope Kim Jong-un goes ahead with another nuclear test, because I think if he did, the Chinese would be willing to support an even stronger UN Security Council sanction against North Korea. Uh, in fact, in the, in the uh, uh, Chinese press, there's talk about a resolution that would limit, limit Chinese oil exports to North Korea, which would be a very powerful sanction. But uh, at the end of this kind of pressure phase, the Trump administration hopes to pivot to a negotiation where we would come to an agreement with the North Koreans to give up their nuclear weapons in exchange for sanctions relief and maybe some economic benefits from South Korea. There are uh, currently presidential elections uh, uh, that will take place in South Korea and the new government in Seoul is very likely to be more willing to resume economic cooperation than the previous government. So one could imagine a package of sanctions relief, economic assistance, maybe we could start peace talks, something the North Koreans have said they wanted, in exchange for steps by the North Koreans to limit their nuclear program, starting perhaps with a moratorium on nuclear and missile testing and then moving to more significant steps like limits on fissile material production and ultimately at the end of the day in the distant future maybe uh, North Korea giving up its nuclear weapons. I don't, as you can tell, I don't have much confidence that this is going to work but I also don't think there's a better idea out there and if at the end of the day uh, the Trump administration is able to even buy some years uh, through a moratorium, uh, w you know, which would delay testing and therefore delays North Korea's ability to build up its nuclear and missile capability, I think that would be a positive achievement and maybe the best thing we can do through diplomacy.